My dear Sultan, King Gustav, allow me to welcome you both to Dunbazon. You honor us with your presence. The honor is all ours, King Erwin. Truly, it has been far too long. A thousand thanks for preparing such lavish festivities. Though, of course, we are not here merely to celebrate. Today's colloquy of kings shall determine the fate of Erdrea for generations to come. I, for one, mean to see that my people's interests are well represented. You will forgive me if I grow a little passionate at times. It is the first time the rulers of the Four Kingdoms have ever gathered under one roof, you know. A momentous occasion indeed. But the reason itself is a momentous one, of course. The birth of an heir to the title of Luminary is an event of unparalleled significance. Indeed it is. Thank you once again for agreeing to meet so readily. Now, I have some final preparations to make before we convene the colloquy. I will come and fetch you when we're ready to begin. Guards, I don't suppose any of you have seen Kin Carnelian? Yes, sire. King Carnelian is walking the grounds with Lord Robert, sire. King Carnelian, Lord Robert, I will be convening the colloquy shortly, if you'd like to make ready. Lord Robert informs me that the boy bears the mark, that he is the luminary reborn. That's right, I. I've decided to present him to you all at the colloquy. The sight of so many people gathered to celebrate his birth has brought home to me how important he is. How much hope the light he brings represents. Save it for the meeting, Owen. Don't take it to heart, laddie. The fate of all Erdria hangs in the luminary now. Not everyone's going to be happy about that. Right, it's nearly time. Why don't you go and fetch the wee one from Eleanor's chambers?
Lady Elena. I promise I'll be careful. <laughs> I think he likes you, Jade. He wants to play. He's a very special boy, you know. They call him the Luminary. People have all sorts of hopes for him. But I just hope he grows up to be like his father. That he can help people to overcome their problems. Just as Erwin does. I hope he grows up to be nice and kind like you, Lady Eleanor. <laughs> 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 the colloquy is about to start, Eleanor. Will you hand me the wee one? All right, wee man. Let's go and talk to some scary old men, shall we? Don't worry. Daddy will look after you. <laughs> oh, Erwin. You don't need to hold on to him so tight, you know. Let the poor boy breathe. <sighs> Would you look at it thundering away out there? And on such a special day, too. It's making me feel uneasy. Now, Helena, there's nothing to worry about. We'll keep you safe no matter what, won't we, wee man? And what about me, hmm? Hey, you don't need me to protect you, Jade. You've got King Carnelian. Your dad's a force to be reckoned with, and no mistake. Right. We better get this meeting started. I'll see you later, Elena. Good luck. Both of you. <laughs>